Welcome back my friends to my channel and my last video dedicated to Vlogmas. So I wanted to share the process of creating one of my own personal art journal pages dedicated to channeling inspiration from something in my everyday life. I'm building off of what I shared in my previous video where I went on a hike, I pulled inspiration, but this is what things look like when I sit down and use a little combination of imagination, whimsy, inspiration, and just playing in my art journal. So I really wanted to pull a couple of key elements that caught my eye on my hike the other day and incorporate them into my art journal surface. The first was this really misty kind of magical trail that I wanted to pull into my page. I definitely wanted to use some ferns because I can't resist pulling ferns into most of my artwork, as well as some mushrooms because on the day of our hike, there were mushrooms everywhere. You'll remember from my previous video, these stalks that were kind of dried out from the winter really caught my eye. And then and of course, some spider webs. Those were just a couple of things that I wanted to somehow incorporate into this art journal spread. Now in my own personal life over here, behind the scenes of my classes and a lot of the art that I share publicly, I always make time to work in this specific journal. I'm pretty sure I demonstrated in this journal a holiday themed page or spread with my watercolors where I try to incorporate lots of different things within that space. In fact, my goal when I'm working this way is to see how much I can actually cram into the entire spread. And I really enjoy working horizontally across two big pages of that art journal. As always, I will put my supplies in the description box, but these ones are pretty simple using watercolors, my art journal, as well as some of my favorite pens. And again, my goal is to walk this line with a little bit of playfulness, some whimsy, and finding ways to turn the things that I encounter in my everyday life into a surface that feels a little bit more like a storybook. This is actually something that I've been doing since I was a little girl making art. Art is one of the ways that I'm able to get my feelings out, express myself. I obviously run a business centered around art and I also really enjoy using my imagination and using creativity and art to kind of escape into another world or to use things from my own everyday life. Maybe things that might feel a little boring or things that I might see all the time and transform them into elements and visuals that feel a little bit like you're transported into another place. And when I'm working this way, I often play around with space and composition. My goal is to always fit as many different elements on a surface like this, which you are gonna see really get filled as you watch this entire process. I know this is not for everybody, but this is the way that I tend to art journal and work through pulling inspiration from my day in day out life things that catch my eye and I really thought sharing this with you all in combination with our previous video would be a fun way just to show you how creatively I can take a little four mile hike for two hours out of my day and pull it into some of the things that I create in my artwork it's one of my favorite ways to really show how you can take the things in your life and transform them in a variety of different ways depending on your style and how much time you have to explore some of that creativity. Things like this actually take me quite a while. A spread like this, because it's larger, I'm using a lot of drawing and illustration, will take me a span of a few days to work on. Often I will pick away on these types of spreads simply because I just don't have that much time to sit for hours and hours and complete something. So I will start by kind of mapping things out with my pencil, sketching out a few of the elements that I want. But as you watch me work through this spread, you will notice a lot of stuff starts to change, evolve, I'm notorious for painting things out, covering things up, and adding something new. And surfaces like this are not necessarily things that I would end up, you know, hanging in a gallery or showing or selling somewhere outside of maybe a process video. They are really personal to me and a place where I can just play. Sometimes they make sense, sometimes I make mistakes, sometimes things are wonky, and I'm perfectly okay with that. These types of journals are places where I am really able to get my ideas out and really practice what it means to take elements and things from my everyday life 
run them through my creativity, through my brainstorming, through whimsy, imagination, and see what I come up with on the other end. And I thought this would be a really fun way to add my Vlogmas series, is just to show you all what this process looks like for me in my own art. I was hoping I could make it through more than 12 videos for Vlogmas, but I've landed on 12 this year once again. But I have lots of really fun stuff coming at you on this channel for the new year, and I'm super excited that I have a lot of new subscribers in this space and many of you who have been with me for a while. It's always fun giving myself the challenge to work through creating a variety of videos in a short amount of time and I'm really happy that a lot of you joined me this year for the entire process. I'm gonna let you watch me work through this spread. You'll notice how many different changes it takes on and hopefully this will inspire you to simply get out into your everyday life. Find some creative ways to use that inspiration and apply it to your own artwork. Mm -hmm. 